A memory leak is when you allocate some memory and then this memory is not released after you finished using it. And you even lose the address of this memory. The memory block gets locked up and won't be available to be reused later on. If you keep leaking memory, eventually you'll run out of memory that you can use in your program and won't be able to allocate more space. In this video, we'll create a huge memory leak and we'll see how to fix it. Let's begin. We start with a main function. We should call a function foo. And foo calls another function bar one million times in a loop. Bar allocates a data object on the heap with new. and data is pretty large. It has an array of 1 billion chars. Now let's include the headers that we need. Let's go back to main and call the function foo. And after foo, we'll print out that we're done. Inside foo, we're printing out the loop counter, which tells us how many times we've called bar. And in bar, we allocate memory and print out the address. So what we're doing, Suppose this is our main memory, which has a stack and a heap. When we call foo, it gets its own stack frame, assuming of course that it doesn't get inlined. And foo allocates a little bit of memory on the stack and then calls bar. Bar allocates memory on the heap and also a little bit of memory on the stack for the address. Then bar exits without freeing the memory allocated on the heap. At this point, we can no longer deallocate this memory on the heap. Next time bar is called, it's gonna need to allocate the data object again. But this time, it's gonna be in a different location. The previous location is not available. This process repeats each time we go in the loop. Eventually, it's not going to be possible anymore to allocate a new block of memory because all the available heap memory has been used. So now let's run the code and see what happens. We're going over in the loop and each time allocating a new region in memory. Eventually, there is no more memory left to allocate a new data object and then the program crashes. This is because when we call new, it throws an exception and this exception is not caught anywhere. Notice the addresses here, they're all different. How can we fix this memory leap? It's pretty simple. We just have to call delete to free the, the allocated memory before we exit from bar. Let's try this out. Notice now that the same memory address is reused over and over. 
whereas before we got a new memory region every time that we allocate a new data object. So far we've been allocating with new and deallocating with delete. A better way is to use smart pointers. Smart pointers allocate memory when they are constructed and deallocate once they are destroyed. So we don't have to manually free the memory as with using new and delete. This is a good example of the RAI pattern. Resource allocation is initialization. I've covered RAI in detail in another video. Feel free to check that out. So let's go ahead and use a unique pointer. Let's give this a quick run. Interestingly, it seems to be running a lot slower than before with the raw, new and delete. We can see also in this case that the same memory region is reused each time when we allocate a new data object. So here we're creating a unique pointer by calling make unique, which basically constructs the data object and returns a unique pointer. Another option would be to construct a unique pointer directly by providing the, uh, the address of a memory. So in this case, we can use new to um, allocate the memory and provide this address to, to the unique pointer. We should then free this memory automatically once the unique pointer is destroyed. Now it's running much faster than with make unique. And we can see also that the same memory region is reused each time. There's one more thing we can try. How about if we allocate the data object on the stack? There is no concern with memory leaks for stack objects because a stack frame is deallocated automatically when the function returns. One thing to watch out for is that the stack has uh, typically much less storage available than the heap. So with this large data object, we are likely going to get a segmentation fault, meaning we have um, allocated too much memory and it has run over the, um, the end of the stack. What we'll need to do is to reduce the size of the data object a bit. Let's give this a quick run. As expected, the same memory region is reused each time. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment if you have a question or a remark. And I'll see you in the next video.